I'm, I'm feeling jolly positive because last year was crap, basically. And I was worried about stuff. I was looking on the tube and I was seeing advertisements that were upsetting me. Stuff like um, Cheryl Baker, I think, is now advertising uh, hair loss. And if you go into Holland and Barrett, Kim Wilde is advertising suppositories. And I thought, where are we going to be in 10 years' time? It's going to be, um, you know, Pete Doherty selling us life insurance and Eminem, Imodium. <laughs> it's just crazy. And I actually went to a fortune teller, uh, uh, Sons of Satan, and I went to the fortune teller and I, I said... Uh, I said, you know, please read my fortune. A and the guy took my hand and he said, my God, woman, you've got a lot of suppressed anger. And I killed him. <laughs> I don't want to know the future. I'm sorry. I resent the implication that it's all predetermined. I mean, you know, I, I don't really have any particular clue what to do with my life, apart from standing here. I, I guess I could have children, but I don't like them. <laughs> I feel, most of the time, like uh, I was born with kind of like the script of Hamlet. And I wake up every morning on the set of EastEnders. <laughs> they know want to be or not to be, believe me, I've tried. And uh, the annoying thing is that, that it's, it's my brain that keeps me awake, and I'm kept awake at night by all these incessant mental worries. Now, I wouldn't mind if I was having profound thoughts, but it's all complete nonsense, like, you know, does God exist? Is there an afterlife? And why are there industrial size scales in public toilets? <laughs> Do you actually need to know how heavy your shit is? <laughs> no. So I've written a song, which lovely, lovely Jimmy up there, with his crazy zips on his jumper. If you have to see him at the interval, just go and mess with his zips, because we'll just stick that such a lull. He's going to play for me. Are you there, Jimmy? Hey. So it's a cheerful little number. Uh, uh, don't join in. <laughs> Mainly because I wrote it, uh, and you won't know the words. <laughs> Life has no meaning. We're all going to die. I have no feeling, and I cannot lie. I didn't ask to be here. No, did not want to be born. No, it's Spanish waking moment filled with anger, pain, and porn. I've got the existentialist, mean red mentalist blues. My life's a mess, a misery. I'm at the end of my fuse. I see despair and drudgery when I watch the news. If I take my life with a bottle of pills, will someone tell me what's the use? Totally confused. More confused than all of you are. I'm searching for the light. I've tried vodka, coke, and aspirin just to get me through the night. I've chanted Nazi Goreng and chicken tikka too. But it doesn't make me feel any less yellow, pink, or blue. I try the ontological, cosmological, scatological way. I talk to priests, to rabbis, to monks, and Muslims. I've let them have their say. I've been a self abusing and hard drug using. My mind's been led astray. Days of yoga, nights in a toga. Let's 
Small-minded views. So let's just stop your worrying. Pack up your ego, your coat, hat, and shoes.